Hey, what's going on, goalkeepers, and welcome back to Pro Clubs Goalkeeper Tips. So today I'm going to be covering the basics of positioning. A lot of people seem to be having troubles with where should I be positioned in certain shot situations. Um, so basically, you want to be holding LB. Whenever you get the circle in your where your player's feet, that is the recommended position you want to be at. And there have been a few problems with posi positioning on this game as well. Like sometimes you make a save and you try to reposition yourself and your guy just completely runs off. I'm not sure if they're going to be patching that soon. Hopefully, they will be working on that soon and get that sorted. Because it is pretty annoying when you try and make a double save and your guy decides to just animate out the way. But that's just what it is. So, positioning. Always hold the LB button. There is certain extents you can do, like LT. Like, a lot of people say, like, LT is a good way to position yourself. And that's called manual positioning. And I wouldn't recommend it unless you are, like, an experienced goalkeeper that knows positioning inside out. And even then, I don't think it's the, the be-all and end-all of goalkeeping. I don't think it's going to be the best thing to do. I sometimes do it. Very rarely, though. There's, there's not many chance of times that I do use LT to actually position myself. I don't feel like it's suitable. Like, the game gives you a good enough position. And if you just want to be a good shot stopper, then just stick to that. If you're trying to save some fancy stuff, like trying to save sweats and whatnot, then that could be a different story. But for now, just stick to LB positioning, wherever the circle says and just deal with it that way because it's the best way to go about it there's no there's no way around it like if they're going to give you the positioning circle then you can't really go wrong with that also guys let me know how you're finding fifa 17 at the moment with the no threat indicator shot as well because a lot of people at first really didn't like it and I'm, I'm kind of intrigued to see what people think about it at the moment like do, do, do you like it I, I don't mind not having it like i think it's quite good like i said before I've always preached that people that play on semi-assisted, not that there's anything wrong with playing on semi-assisted, but people that play on that assisted and they have the shot indicator, they can literally save everything even if they're not like an outstanding goalkeeper, making the skill gap pretty small between good goalkeepers and sort of goalkeepers that aren't actually that great. Now on this game, I feel like people are going to be showing up a lot more. You're going to see goalkeepers that are good, going to be making amazing saves and being unstoppable. And then you're going to be seeing those mediocre goalkeepers that struggle with the sort of ins and out of goalkeeping and they just let in silly goals because they don't expect the shock, they don't have the circle. And I don't know, I feel like it's going to be a good way to see in VFL, especially if you guys don't know what VFL is. VFL is a esports or a virtual football league where you join a team, you play on a weekend about four games and you play with 11 v 11 basically it's a really good thing that i do i'm gonna be starting my series soon you guys would have seen last week i did a team announcement of who i'm joining which is Bayern munich on xbox one and there's gonna be the content coming soon like this weekend is gonna be the beginning of the season i'm not sure how many games they're gonna be playing because like i said in that video as well i'm kind of playing as a backup keeper because like youtube content always comes first for me but anyway guys hopefully the positioning covering basics for you is kind of been okay if you have any questions about it then please do ask me in the comment section i will answer them at the q a section at the end of each episode as i always try and do and also please give me a topic to talk about like say i don't know you want me to cover like sweeper keeper or you want to cover sweats or you want me to cover certain situations and please do give me feedback otherwise i don't want what you guys want to see like i'm just going off the top of my head on what i think would be good for you guys and it's not always the way forward like you guys might not struggle with positioning you might not struggle with distribution it might just be you want to cover certain things and then i can do that for you but without you guys saying i don't really know but anyway let's get into the q a section of the video cristiano messi says is there a maximum number of traits that you can have and the answer is uh yes there is you get 24 skill points they're the amount of skill points you can have and once you've spent all 24 skill points, that is the way that you have your traits. For example, I use a lot of traits. I have both the goalkeeper traits. I have three passing traits. I have sprint. No, I had acceleration. I've got tackle. I've got my standing tackle, slide tackle. I'm trying to remember the top of my head. I've got the ball control, the skill moves, and the dribbling trait. I think that's everything off the top of my head. I think that adds up to 24. It's a good way to do it. You can muck around with the system and see which is the best way for you. But I really like it. So Harry Doherty asks, when do I know when it's the right time to dive and also what button should I use? I have made a video on this, by the way. Um, it's one of the basic controls that I did on the beginning of goalkeeper tips on this game. I would recommend going to watch that, but basically, when's the right time to dive when you see the ball coming close to you? Now that you don't have the red indicator, it comes down to reactions. So just whenever you see the ball coming towards you and you hold the right stick in the direction that it's going to be going. Edgeblonde13 says, um, when do you dive? Like I said, like I said to Harry, you basically dive when you see the ball getting close to you and you can just hold it in the direction and you should be able to save it and it works well. I could recommend doing the first skill game as well to get a bit of practice with that as goalkeeper and it, they take first time shots. You can see which way they're going to go. You can get a feel for holding the stick in the direction. So Peter says, do you play outfield to get your speed and acceleration up? No, I don't. I play in goal most of the time 
and I've got pretty good acceleration. You get given all round after each game, you kind of get a bit of everything up. But like even as a goalkeeper, you get like, I don't know, you get free kick accuracy up and stuff. It's pretty random, but you do get acceleration, you do get sprint speed, and it works quite well. And the last question is by Jagver um, Dalid. I, I don't know if that's pronounced right, I apologize if it's not. So when is it a, when it is a one on one? What do you hold and press? Maybe I could do a video on this if I can do the next one, possibly on one v one situations. But what I do is I come off my line a little bit. I come off my line like a, to like the six yard line. I hold my positioning and then just prepare myself for the shot. And then you just use the right stick in the direction they're going to go. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the pitch.